Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim Good evening. You're watching the news from the Sultan of Oman Television. First, the headlines. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos exchanges cables of greetings with leaders in brotherly and friendly countries on the advent of Eid al-Adha. The National Business Center announces the 16th of November, a date to conduct an entrepreneur's camp. Royal Oman Police celebrates the graduation of the 60th batch of newly recruited police brigades. And the markets of the Sultan witness active commercial movement with the approach of Eid al-Adha. Those were the headlines, and now the news in detail. On the advent of the blessed Eid al-Adha, His Majesty Sultan Qaboos has exchanged cables of greetings, blessings, cordial and best wishes of expressions with their majesties, their highnesses and excellences, the leaders of the brotherly and friendly countries. His Majesty the Sultan expresses cordial greetings and uh, heartfelt best wishes to them and their country's peoples, coupled with the request of Allah Almighty to make their days full of happiness and prosperity and to achieve with their leadership, their people's aspirations of welfare, growth, progress and prosperity and to renew this occasion on all Muslims with good omen, prosperity and blessings. In their cables, the leaders express their best greetings and the best wishes and heartfelt wishes to His Majesty the Sultan and the Omani people praying to Allah uh, to renew this occasion and it's similar on His Majesty enjoying health, happiness and long life and the Omani people achieving further aspirations of growth and progress under His Majesty's wise leadership and to the Islamic nation's welfare, pride, glory and prosperity. His Majesty the Sultan has exchanged cables of greetings with the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Abdullah bin Abdulaziz Al Saud of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, President of the United Arab Emirates. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa of the Kingdom of Bahrain. His Highness Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, Emir of the State of Qatar. His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah, Emir of the State of Kuwait. His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn Al Hussein of Jordan. His Majesty King Mohammed VI of Morocco. His Excellency President Dr. Mohammed Al Mansif Al Marzouki of Tunisia. His Excellency President Abdelaziz Bouteflika of Algeria. His Excellency President Ismail Omar Ghaila of Djibouti. His Excellency President Field, Field Marshal Omar Hassan Ahmed Al Bashir of Sudan. His Excellency President Hassan Sheikh Mahmoud of Somalia. His Excellency President Dr. Fouad Masoum of Iraq. His Excellency President Mahmoud Abbas of the State of Palestine, Chairman of the Executive Committee of the Palestinian Liberation Organization and Chairman of the Palestinian National Authority. His Excellency President Dr. Aikhil the Neem of Comoros. His Excellency President Abdul Fattah Assisi of Egypt. His Excellency President Mohammed Old Abdul Aziz of Mauritania. His Excellency President Field Marshal Abdul Rabu Mansour Hadi of Yemen. His Majesty Sultan Haji Hassan Al Bukhia of Brunei Dar es Salaam. His Majesty King Al Wathiq. Billah Abdul Halim Nuzadam Shah of Malaysia. His Excellency President Ilham Haider Aliyev of Azerbaijan. His Excellency President Dr. Ashraf Ghani of Afghanistan. His Excellency President Dr. Susilo Bambo Yadiono of Indonesia. His Excellency President Islam Karimov of Uzbekistan. His Excellency President Dr. Hassan Rouhani of Iran. His Excellency President Mahmoud Hussein of Pakistan. His Excellency President Mohammed Abdul Hamid of Bangladesh. His Excellency President 
Gubenguli Berdi Mohamedov of Turkmenistan, His Excellency President Rasif Tayyip Bordogan of Turkey, His Excellency President Idris Dabi of Chad, His Excellency President Ali Bongo Ondimba of Gabon, His Excellency President Dr. Yahya Jame of Gambia, His Excellency President Maki Sali of Senegal, His Excellency President Imomali Rahmanov of Tajikistan, His Excellency President Al Masbak Atambayev of Kyrgyzstan, His Excellency President Nusultan Nazbayev of Kazakhstan, His Excellency President Abdullah Yamin of Maldives, His Excellency President Ibrahim Abubakar Keita of Mali, His Excellency President uh, Mohammed Esofu of Niger, His Excellency President Al Hassan Quattara of Cote d'Ivoire, and His Excellency President Alpha Conde of Guinea. His Majesty Sultan has sent cables of greetings to His Excellency President Alpha Conte of Guinea on his country's independence anniversary. His Excellency Engineer Mohsin bin Mohammed Al Sheikh, Chairman of the Muscat Municipality, received in his office today His Excellency Saeed Ali Mubarak, Minister of Information, Culture, Tourism and Sports of Zanzibar. The meeting touched on urban development, town planning and tourism sector. The meeting also discussed fields of joint cooperation that serve the two sides. The meeting also reviewed a number of projects and services rendered by Muscat Municipality. The guests praised the spacious relations between the Sultan and the government of Zanzibar and the commonalities between the two peoples. He also commended the development and renaissance witnessed by the Sultan. He expressed his admiration for modern facilities, a network of modern roads and maintaining the consistency of the physical character which brings together tradition and modernity. Entrepreneurs Camp will be held from 16th to 20th of November, coinciding with International Entrepreneurship Week, which is held every year around the world in 138 countries. This was announced in a press conference or by National Business Center affiliated to public establishment for industrial estates. The center clarified that the field is open to, for all Omanis to participate in the camp, which was considered the first of its kind on the Sultan's level. Though this camp had the best commercial ideas from the group, including 65 Omani entrepreneurs, will be chosen. The aim was to enable them to expand their commercial activities in the area by benefiting from capabilities and successful training programs of Oasis 500 Company, which is considered a pioneering company around the Gulf Cooperation Council countries. The launching of International Entrepreneurs Week came within the framework of the center's role in developing the Omani society through economic growth and encouragement of available investment opportunities. The Sultan Qaboos Academy for Police Science in Nizwa held a ceremony for the graduation of the 60th batch of new police recruits under the auspices of His Excellency Hussein bin Ali Al Hilali, public prosecutor. The ceremony started with the arrival of the chief guest and performing the military salutes for him by the graduates. Then the commander of the parade requested the chief guest to inspect the first row of the parade. After that, the graduating, uh, graduates performed slow and normal military marches. Then the chief guest distributed appreciation prizes to the top graduates. After that, the graduates sang Royal Oman Police's Nasheed, Guardian of the Right, and chanted thrice allegiance call for His Majesty Sultan Qaboos. 
Then the commander of the parade proceeded and requested the chief guest to depart the parade ground. Still to come in a news bulletin. Children of Kahnad village in the Wilayat of Ibri gather and roam alleys of the village reciting expressions of Hajj rituals. Welcome back to the news from the Sultans of Oman Television. Citizens of the Wilayat of Al Khabura, who settled near the waste dump, suffered from health damages as a reason of rising fumes, which caused by burning of solid and liquid wastes, which makes it imperative by competent authorities to find a solution to stop pollution resulted from the dump. Citizens also suffer from sewage bed smells, which form an open lake and leak into aquifers. More than 24 housing units at various governorates of the Sultans were assigned during the meeting of Interior Tender Committee at the Ministry of Housing. The value of assigned tender exceeded 800,000 Omani rials. Establishing housing units at the Governorate of South and North Sharqiyya and Governorate of Muscat. Also, the committee agreed on awarding the tender, which is uh, specialized in building a warehouse and documenting and stationary affiliated to Directorate General of Housing in the Governorate of North Al Batina. Muscat Securities Market, MSM, general index today lost 0.09 points, comprising a decline by 0.001% to close at 7,484 points. The trading value today stood at 5.11 million Omani Rials, comprising a decline by 39.09% compared to the last session, which stood at 8.38 million Omani Rials. The report released by MSM pointed out that the market value rose by 0.09%, to reach about 15.6 billion rials. The report added that the value of shares bought by non oman investors reached more than 1.9 million Omani rials, comprising 37.3%. The value of shares sold by non oman investors reached more than 1.1 million Omani rials, comprising 22.7%. In various governorates of the Sultanate, the societies are making the preparations for the place Eid al-Adha. The markets in the governorates of Dakhiliya witness an active movement where Eid occasions are considered an opportunity for merchants to sell their products. The commercial markets included various commodities, namely traditional cloths, gifts for children, hanjars, perfumes and other items. The members of the society are keen to receive this blessed occasion to visit their relatives and bring joy to the children. Since early morning, Habta of the Liyat of Ibri market on the 7th Dhul Hijjah witnessed a large turnout to purchase Eid al Adha needs. A number of people gathered to compete in purchasing and selling process in, in an active commercial movement, especially in livestock, accessories, garments, and Omani halwa. The Municipalities Affairs Committee in the Wilayat of Khasab distributed blessed Eid al-Adha clothing 
of for 90 cases of orphans, people with special needs, low-income people and elderly. This came during the event which was held at Oman Chamber of Commerce and Industry Branch in the Governorate of Musandam. Uh, this aid came for providing care by the committee to these categories in the society. Tahlil tradition linked with the entrance of the first 10 days of Dhul Hijjah month and the flow of Muslims to the sacred land to perform Hajj rituals. Children of Kahnat village in the Wilayat of Ibri gather and uh, roam around alleys and neighborhoods repeating words of Tahlil and Takbir right after Maghrib prayers until Aisha prayers. One of the boys would lead them, reciting some expressions and others repeat after them. And now for the general weather forecast around the sunsets. Partly cloudy skies will prevail over the coastal areas of the government of the far and nearby mountains with chances of intermittent drizzle and rest of the salted will have clear skies with chances of scattered rains over the Hajar Mountains and the nearby areas. Winds will be northeasterly light to moderate along the coastal areas of Sea of Oman, while it will be southerly to southeasterly light to moderate over the rest of the salted. Seas along the coast of uh, Oman uh, will be moderate to rough with a maximum wave height of two and a half meters and along the rest of the coast it will be slight to moderate with a maximum wave height of one and a half meters. On television, before we enter tonight's bulletin, here are the main points once again. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos exchanges cables of greetings and leaders with the leaders of the brotherly and friendly countries on the advent of Eid al Adha. The National Business Center announces the 16th of November a date to conduct an entrepreneur's camp. Royal Oman Police celebrates the graduation of the 68th batch of newly recruited police brigades. In markets of the Sultanate, witness active commercial movement with the approach of Eid al Adha. And with that, we come to the end of tonight's news bulletin. For all of us here in the studios and the newsroom, thanks for watching. Good night.